So I uh, made a big mistake for Shadowbringers MSQs and Endwalker MSQs. And some of you might not know this, so I discussed this on stream the other night. And if it's up to me, I would definitely try my utmost best to ensure I do not make the same mistake again for 7.0. Hopefully, if not, I'm doomed to never play a Lala Fell ever again. And if you're puzzled, well, this video will explain why. Before that though, do know that this is a scheduled post. As you watch this video, I'm probably on a plane somewhere and I'll be back in a couple of days to cover 14 as per usual. But this channel has been my baby for one and a half years and I just don't want it to stay deserted while I'm away. Let's get started. I always thought that Endwalker should have been a two-part expansion or at least put the second half of Endwalker to the patches. Fair enough. Although Endwalker was very good too though. Don't get me wrong, Endwalker was such a thrill. I swear to you guys and I swear on my surname that if I were to do the next expansion all over again, I swear I will go to sleep. I will not stay up and play 14 MSQs all the day. Because I think what really was not ideal was I basically wasn't sleeping for a couple of days, right? I just kept playing the MSQs. And because of that, I think I definitely missed out on some details. I think if I have better sleep quality, I would have appreciated a lot of the final details about MSQs better. Like the zone music, especially in Ultima Thule and the final few zones. By the time I got there, I was running on fumes. I was literally like sleeping like three hours for like three days or something. And uh, I swear, and I know you guys are saying in chat is copium, but I swear, in the next expansion chat, I'm gonna be well behaved and I'm gonna tell myself like I'm gonna go sleep at 10 p.m. every day. Like I I don't I don't wanna run on fumes. I wanna fully appreciate the MSQs. And uh if I can, I probably like I need to do my very best and be very disciplined and not binging the MSQs. I hope I can. Because there is a correlation though. Uh, between not having enough sleep versus missing out on details. And when I look through my MSQs, I look through the videos I recorded, dude, I didn't really do Ultima 2 justice. I did Elpis justice. I'm very glad that in Endwalker, I did Elpis justice. And in Elpis, I was still very fresh. But by the time I did Ultima 2, I was like lacking sleep. I was severely sleep deprived. And yes, I was still very hyped at key moments when, you know, our best friend broke through the glass and whatnot. But I would think that I'm missing out on the final details and the experiences in Ultima 2. That's my promise to myself. I definitely want to try and like sleep more. And I know you guys say it's copium because literally I broke my promise for Endwalker. I literally said that for Endwalker, I want to make sure that like, I pace myself for the MSQs, don't binge it, go to sleep at a regular hour. But you know, shit happens. But this time round, this time round, I promise I will behave. <laughs> Someone clipped it. Oh shit, dude. <laughs> okay, okay. Since it's out on the internet now, I need to deliver on that promise. I swear for 8.0, I will not binge it. I will go to sleep at regular hours so that I will not miss the final details. Mr. Strama on a weekend choose denial. Bessie says, I think Quasi is speaking of an impossible life goal into existence chat. Shit, dude. All right, so 7.0 um, launches. I swear I would sleep for one week before the expansion. I'll do nothing but sleep before the expansion in case I can't stop myself from binging. Yeah, the five hit move is to sleep one week before. <laughs> like literally just sleep for one week, hibernate. Turn off your cell phone, uh, put your out of office um, auto replies and just tell people like, hey guys, I am not going to do anything um, and reply emails for the next one week. I need to sleep for 7.0 launch. I think that's the plan actually. <laughs> but I know you guys are making fun of me because I know I broke the promise to myself. I said it on stream as well before um, Endwalker launch. I said during the Shadowbringers expansion in one of the streams, I actually did say that for the Endwalker MSQs, I would behave myself and I wouldn't binge it. But you know, the turning point, arguably the turning point came after Elpis. I think up until Elpis, I was very, very fresh. I think that's why like, if you go and look at my um, Endwalker playthrough, you would see that up until Elpis, I was very alert. Like I, I definitely noticed the very little tiny shifts in the light motifs in the song, uh, the little context in the, you know, the basically the dialogues. I was very sharp up until Elpis because up until Elpis, I was definitely still getting enough rest. I was eating properly. Um, and then past Elpis is when, you know, you just lose control, right? You, you, after Elpis, you're like, you need to know what the hell happened, sir? What the hell is going on? And um, you go back to Charlayan, right? And then you're like, God damn it, better power through Labyrinthos. I want to get to the very end. Screw this shit. I'm gonna just get to the end, right? I finished Labyrinthos at 3 a.m. There's this chat log that I still have with my mods. And I vividly remember asking them, hey, if I finish Labyrinthos at 3 a.m., when do you think I can finish <laughs> Endwalker as an expansion MSQs? And they said something like, you should probably go to sleep. So they did warn me. People did warn me like, oh, if you finish um, Labyrinthos, you should go to bed. 
But to me, I was like, oh, if you're taking the spaceship over to, um, you know, the very edge of the universe, it can't be that far away from the ending, right? And how wrong was I? Because like, I felt like if I went to bed after Labyrinthos, it was the right call. Arguably, the right call is to go to sleep after Elpis. Because Labyrinthos is kind of like a dip, right? Labyrinthos was a dip in terms of the MSQs. It was kind of like, kind of like a palate cleanser. And then you have, yes, obviously the very emotional Urion J scene. But other than that, Labyrinthos was kind of like, oh, go here, fetch this, bring the carrots here, you know, do this for the Loperids. Um, and Labyrinthos was kind of like, kind of chill. And I should have gone to bed at the hour. I really should have. I should have just gone to bed at that point. That was kind of dumb of me. You can't stock up on sleep. Yeah, actually, that's true. Uh, teen went as a point. You can't sleep that doesn't work that way you should basically just go to sleep you know honestly i think if i look through my endwalker uh, playthroughs it's very clear right it's so clear as day like you can see from my facial expansion my facial expressions i was so alert when i was doing elpis but you can see from my face i was still very alert when i did elpis this is this is the face of a man who is still quite well rested let me find my ultima 2 vods and um yeah, that, that man was like seriously sleep deprived. Let me find it. You know what's funny? When I did the final trial of N Walker, I vividly remember it was 7 a.m. And I remember the, the sun was rising behind me. I played through the night and the sun was rising behind me in my room. And I could definitely feel like it should be time for bed. But when the final trial pops up at 7 a.m., you queue, right? And you queue and um, it's 7 a.m. in JP. Um, in, in the JPDC, which is not a prime time. It was a weekday, by the way. I took day off for Ann Walker. So I queued at 7 a.m. for Ann Walker final trial, and we couldn't feel the party for 45 minutes. I sat there waiting for 45 minutes. I contemplated whether I should have breakfast or go to bed. I was like, nah, I'm gonna power through any moment now this healer is gonna join. And I don't know why there's a shortage of healer, but there wasn't a healer. We had two DPS, one tanks, and it was just like no healers. Um, and I was just sitting there waiting for 45 minutes and we finally filled. And let's just say for the final trial, it was a smooth sailing. I wiped at least two times and it's in my vaults as well. I wiped once because I didn't know that tanks have to LB, right? So that's, that's one thing that I didn't do. I basically do the trial three times. And by the time I was done, it was like 8 a.m. But dude, I am like, I'm like tired as hell. I think the best part was this. Okay, I'll show one more clip here. Tataru running down the stairs. This this part got me. So I was like teary-eyed and all these, right? But when Tataru ran down the stairs, yeah, that part got me. I don't know why. It was just something about Tataru running down the stairs. You, did you guys feel that? I feel like it was such a it was such a homecoming moment. Like I was really teary-eyed. You know, I I you know it was it's kind of good to wake up to the scions. But when Tataru ran down the stairs, man, that was such a good moment. Tataru greeting you is so good. Yeah, hundred percent. Alright, okay, I don't watch more. If not, I got sleep tonight. But, uh, but yeah, you guys get the point. At this point in time, I was like 30 hours into Endwalker. I'm absolutely spent at this point. Like, absolutely like spent. And I remember going to bed um, after I had a McDonald's breakfast. So at this point in time, it was like 9 a.m. I ordered my McDonald's breakfast. I remember it was a pancake with hash brown and basically a maple syrup. I had that and I had like one of the best sleeps in, in years. You know that feeling when you sleep after... You're so tired from crying. <laughs> That's kind of the feeling I got, which is like, you're so spent from crying so much. You're like, you lie on bed and you just knock out, dude. And I slept, I remember I slept for like 16 hours straight or something. I literally slept um, at 10 a.m. And I remember waking up, actually I slept more than that. I slept at 10 a.m. or 10.30. And I slept all the way to 10.30 p.m. And I was like, oh shit, it's like nighttime. I was so disoriented, I was like checking, I was checking my watch, I was like, what time is it? And what day is it? Okay, should I wake up for dinner? And I was like, ah, screw it, I'll just sleep some more. So I went back to bed and I slept all the way until like 9 a.m. the next day. Um, so that was basically me spending my paid time off for Endwalker. It was kind of great, honestly. It's amazing, absolutely amazing. It's once in a lifetime kind of memory. And uh, I cannot find another game that makes you feel emotions like that. <laughs> this is really a masterpiece by them. Shadowbringers though, um, I also went through the same experience, but the 5.0 ending though, this part though, was also at 7 a.m. He was well rested at 10%. Yeah, true, true. So what Ludmere Campbell is saying is that, by the way, this is the, the 5.0 Shadowbringers episode. It's the first video I ever released on this channel that is three hours long. So in three hours, 
in a three hours video, yeah, I did everything from Calusia to Ilmor, taking the lift in Ilmor, doing this whole Dwarven stuff, the Talos bit, Mount Gaup, and SOS. And then obviously the very big scene. This scene was obviously monumental in Shadowbringers. But my point is, at this point in time, how do you stop, right? When I finished SOS, it was like 12 midnight, I think. And Shadowbringers, to be fair, I wasn't well rested either. And I wish I was. Because if you see this part, I miss certain details. Like for example, Urionje washing up shore, I missed that part, I think. Um, so if I was more alert, I would have spotted such things. So yes, my promise is I'll definitely sleep more. I'll definitely sleep more for 7.0. That's my promise. I swear on my surname, I'll pace myself, okay? I swear, I swear on my surname. I will do it right for 7.0. If there's any lesson I learned about the ending of Final Fantasy XIV's MSQs is that the second last zone, you should go to bed. If you fail, you're changing to which surname. <laughs> if I fail, then I am for ever not allowed to play Lala Fels. I need to play something else, okay? Oh, you know, if I fail, I will forever be a Hrothka. How about that? Like, if I fail, I'll forever play female Hrothka. Maybe. You're betting on Lalafell? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's something precious to me, right? Unsub. If he fails, your name is out quasi around. No, don't do it. Because <laughs> I know you will fail. No faith in me, Lumia Campbell. No faith, dude. I did this for every expansion before Endwalker still didn't learn my lesson somehow. All right. It sounds like little. there's little faith in me. I will try. I will try my absolute best, okay? Else I have to play a Hrothka for the rest of my life. I swear. I'm determined to make it happen. Famous last words. I hope I don't regret it, chat. I really hope I don't regret it. All right, there you have it. So it's out on the open. It's on the internet now. I can't take back my words anymore. You folks need to hold me accountable if I binge the MSQs again. I swear I will not do it. And I hope I have the mental strength to stick to that when the 7.0 MSQs actually hit. I remember telling myself before Endwalker that I must savor every single second. I will not binge the MSQs but somehow it's so gripping that I cannot help myself. But in 7.0, I will steal my determination to make sure that I keep myself in check. Hopefully, copium. Anyway, folks, if you like my coverage of Final Fantasy XIV, do subscribe to the channel. That will really mean a lot to me. Join our happy family in this corner of the internet. I stream on Twitch too. Feel free to swing by to hang out. And last but not least, big thank you to my Patreon subscribers for keeping the channels alive. Have a great day, folks. I'll see you soon.